everyone, welcome back to another Everyday EV video. For today's video, we're going to be trying out a brand new feature with EVgo called Auto Charge. Now, Auto Charge is recently new for EVgo in your mobile app, and they have a whole list of vehicles already available for Auto Charge, but there's a recent update to your iOS or Android mobile app for EVgo that allows you to charge your CCS enabled Tesla like ours using auto charge. So today we're going to walk you through how to set that up on your mobile phone and then how to initiate your first auto charge. So now we're gonna walk you through how to set up auto charge on your mobile app. So I'm gonna use my iPhone for example, we just updated the app itself, the EVgo app in order to get the latest auto charge feature for our Tesla. So in the app here, we're gonna click on the menu once we find a location. And then on your menu here in options, you're gonna see one for vehicle auto charge plus. Once it loads, you do have to add your vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And you do add it by either your vehicle with your year, make and model or by your VIN, but we're gonna add it by our VIN today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter in the VIN manually. You'll add your VIN. You can also nickname your vehicle if you want to nickname it, but we're gonna skip that for right now. <laughs> Then what's cool is, okay, now you have Auto Charge Plus enrolled. And an important note is you can only use the CCS adapter for Auto Charge. You cannot use the Chatmo adapter if you have one for your Tesla. Now what you have to do is once you put in your VIN to your Tesla that is CCS enabled, you have to click on Request to Enroll. It'll ask you if you have a CCS Combo 1 adapter, your green to red adapter. You want to click Yes, I have one. And then it'll say, please plug into a CCS co uh, connector. So you can do this at home, but we, it'd probably be best to actually do it at an EVgo station. That way you can plug in your car right away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select our station, and then I'll have Brandon walk you through how to plug in your Tesla. So now let's plug in our Tesla to enroll it in auto charge. We have our green to red fast charging adapter already connected. And what the EVgo app is saying is that we want to uh, enroll the vehicle. So we'll hit yes and enroll it and start charging. It's gonna tell us to please wait before plugging in. And now it says to plug it in within 60 seconds. So now we have it connected. It's starting to load and it's, the charger is communicating with our vehicle. And it looks like it said payment is authorized on the charger itself. So we're just waiting. Um, and it looks like it's loading and it's still communicating. It says connecting to the vehicle. And now we're getting a notification saying enrolling in auto charge. So it's pairing our unique vehicle ID to the charger. And it looks like we should be charging in a few seconds. It's gathering session data. And we're hearing some clicking and it's saying a driving issue or a fault issue with the charger. So. I guess we'll try this again, but it does look like we were enrolled successfully, which is nice. So the EVgo app is saying that we have enrolled in auto charge successfully. However, we just had an issue with the charger, which we've had in the past and EVgo actually fixed this location. So hopefully we are enrolled. So we're gonna test this out just by simply plugging in our vehicle. We switch connectors and these cables are so, so thick. So we're just gonna plug in and it says payment has been authorized, which is really cool. That means that it has already enabled. And now we just wait for the charger to connect to the vehicle and to start charging. Uh, and it looks like we're having an issue with this specific charger again. So I think we're gonna go to another EVgo charger at this location and see if it works. So after a little bit of a headache, we are actually successfully able to start charging our Tesla Model 3 utilizing auto charge. We had to switch between the different connectors a few times and we finally got connector A to work and it was super simple. All we had to do was plug it in. It authorized payment literally immediately and it started connecting and communicating with the vehicle and it started charging. I would say that's really, really cool. Now to get a little bit nerdy about auto charge, it's not exactly utilizing the engineering for plug-in charge like Electrify America would utilize for some of the other vehicles. It's actually connecting directly to the MAC address of the vehicle, which is unique. And I think that that's really cool that EVgo is starting to figure out some workarounds for this. 
And now auto charge will work for vehicles like the Tesla, uh, as well as the EV6, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, the Genesis GV60, uh, the Polestar 2, Volvo, as well as many other vehicles. So it's really cool that EVgo has created a solution like this to make charging a lot easier. So that's gonna be it for today's video. We hope you guys learned a lot about the EVgo auto charge feature, which is really nice. It's super easy to set up and it, other vehicles are pretty much identical in terms of setup. So if you guys have any questions, please let us know in the comment section. We'll be more than happy to answer that. It's a really nice feature and I definitely applaud EVgo for creating something like this. Well, anyways, make sure you like and share this video with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to the Everyday EV YouTube channel and remember to take care, stay safe and make everyday electrifying. And we'll see you guys in the next one.